I just really like Glain. Glain. I really like Glain. Uh, I just really like Gain. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another empties video for you and it is not the typical beauty empties that I normally do here on my channel. I don't know if you guys remember, but a while back, maybe like a couple of months ago, I did a different spin on an empties video and I shared with you all of the household products that I had used up. And surprisingly, a lot of people actually really liked that video. I knew that I probably hadn't come up with that concept. I just knew that I had never seen that type of video. So yeah, a lot of you had said, keep those videos coming because you really like these types of videos. And some people even said they like them better than beauty empties. So I'm definitely not gonna stop doing beauty empties, but I do have another household empties video for you today, if I can get the words out correctly. Um, and I feel like I have a lot of stuff to share with you. Some of these products are gonna be things that I shared in my last video just because some of these are like my tried and true favorite things to use up. So I'm just going to quickly go through each one, share with you my thoughts on it, and let you know if it's something that I have repurchased, would repurchase, or just feel like you need to just forget about it. So uh, yeah, let me just start with all of the stuff that is outside of the bag that I normally keep things in. This is the bag that I have, and as you can see, it is very, very, very full. And then I do have a few items that just couldn't squeeze themselves in there. So the first thing that I have is actually something really fun. I'm just kidding. Uh, it is the Up and Up Clog Clearing Gel. So this is just like your good old Drano. Um, and I always make sure that I have something like this on hand just because you know, your drains can get clogged really easily and it's just always nice to know that you have something to quickly put down the drains, especially when you're cleaning and things like that. I'm constantly shedding and losing hair. If you live in our house, then you just know like at any given point in time, you're probably gonna have a Danae hair on you because I just shed a lot. And um, you know, that stuff gets into your drains and can clog them and it's just nasty. So we really like this stuff. It works really well. It is a fraction of the price of the actual brand name of Drano and you just get it at Target. I want to say this bottle is like three something um, and it's the one that I pick up regularly. I also have my go-to dish washing soap. This is the Palm Olive, the lavender and lime scent. I really like this stuff. I don't know. I just grew up on Dawn. My, ooh, my mom always uses Dawn. Um, she has and still does and I like it. I think Dawn is great but I just really like this one. I think it's really soft on my hands. It smells really good. I feel like it does a really good job of cleaning the dishes, so this is just my go-to. It's the one that I always get. Um, I also have the, speaking of a Danae hair, there's one stuck to this, uh, the Method All-Purpose Surface Cleaner. This is the lime and sea salt one. I've shared this with you guys so many times. If you've watched any of the cleaning videos that I have here on my channel, which are not that many because I'm really not into cleaning, but I always talk about this being my absolute favorite cleaner. It's my absolute favorite scent. I love the method all-purpose cleaners. I feel like you're either on, you know, in the method camp or you're in the Mrs. Myers camp, and I definitely sway more towards the method camp. Um, I don't know, Mrs. Myers is okay, like some of their scents are good. I just really like Method. It's what I always go to. Um, it's a little bit less expensive and I really, really, really love the lime and sea salt. If I had to only pick one, it would be this one for sure. Um, but this is the one that I primarily use like in the kitchen. I use it in our living room and kind of just like all the main like common areas of the home. Um, I use another scent, which I think I may have that I'm gonna share with you. Um, like in the bathrooms and the bedrooms. I also have the Up and Up eraser pads. This is a four count and it's supposed to be comparable to the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers, just the regular basic ones. I like these. Um, do I think they do as good of a job as the Magic Erasers? I think they do. The only thing that I will say that I notice between these and the actual Magic Erasers is that I feel like, you know when you're using them, like some, they start to crumble and fall apart on you. I feel like these do that a little bit faster. Um, than the magic eraser ones, but honestly like these are so much less expensive than the magic eraser ones that I just get these and I just deal with it like it's 
it's fine. It's not enough to make me not want to get them. Okay, so I have two of the Gain fabric softeners. This is just the original formula. I really love Gain. Um, I grew up on Tide. My mom uses Tide. In college, I used Tide. Um, but then I guess as I grew up and became an adult, I started trying out different ones and I found that I really prefer Gain um, for my laundry detergent, for my fabric softener, my fabric sheets. It smells good, it's pretty affordable, and I feel like it does a really good job of just keeping everything nice and fresh. I have the Clorox Toilet Bowl Cleaner. This is the Clinging bleach gel that is a mouthful to say clorox clinging bleach gel Whew. uh so yeah this is usually what i get to clean our toilet bowls i am like not all natural when it comes to the toilets i've said it time and time again i want the like heaviest duty cleaner for the toilets toilets are disgusting they carry so many germs and I just want something that's going to be 99.9% .9 effective in killing germs. So it's usually this one or like one of the um, Lysol ones. Uh, so yeah, either one of those are good. So next up is the Resolve Pet Expert. This is just a carpet stain remover and I've shared this with you guys before. This is like hands down go-to stain remover for everything. Not just carpeting. I use it on our clothing. I've used it on our furniture before. Um, but I actually have something that's a little bit better for furniture, so I will link that video here um, in case you want to see it. Uh, it's just how I keep all of our really light furniture clean. Um, but this stuff is really good. Um, it gets up blood. It gets up, like, dog stuff, urine, and poop. Um, and it just gets like everything out like with Gunnar playing outside he gets the red clay on him I mean it literally just gets everything out and so I just use this for everything I cannot say enough about it and I just keep it hanging right above the washer um, because it's what we like to use I have a couple of the Up and Up original 3-in-1 laundry detergent packs. These are comparable to the Gain Flings. I said that I like the Gain laundry detergent. And I like getting these. We have like the big old tub of Gain Flings um, that we've used. And then I've just kept the tub and I just buy these and put them in the tub. But we really like these. They are identical to the Gain Flings. have a superhero in here by me um so yeah they work just as well they smell the same and they're much hi. more affordable <laughs> hi you silly um okay let's go find your mask okay i had to go look for a superhero mask um okay so what is next we have the method sweet water this is the foaming hand wash um we really like this soap I really, really, really like the foaming soap, and so does Chris. He's the one that actually got me a little bit, there we go, hooked on the foaming soaps now. So now, like, when I use a regular soap, I can definitely tell a difference. I feel like the foaming just does a better job of lathering and getting my hands clean. So anyways, this is a really good scent. It's a good, just, like, fresh, clean scent, and it's just one of those scents that you can use everywhere in your house, all year round. Um, so this is always a go-to for me. And then I have a couple of Febreze, like, scent things. Um, so this one is the one that I normally get. This is the Febreze, um, the Meadows and Rain. And I already have one that's completely empty. The other one is currently in use right now. But I decided to just include the packaging on this one. Um, and this one smells really good. It's very fresh. I don't use a lot of these in our house. I think I've mentioned to you guys before, but maybe not. Um, I had the wallflower pl um, plugs, plugins, whatever, from Bath and Body Works, and uh, they caught on fire. Well, one of them caught on fire. Two of them caught on fire. And it was kind of scary. Um, and I've just decided that I'm not going to use those anymore. And so the only ones that I do use are the Febreze ones. I take them out every single night when I go to bed. I plug them in in the morning and they stay in all day when we're around. I'm kind of a nervous Nelly when it comes to this stuff. But these have been really good. They don't get super hot or, or anything like that. So I really like the Meadows and Rain one. This is like a, just a really fresh, clean scent. And then this one is a new one. I wanted to get a new 
um, plug just to plug in into our hallway so it kind of gets all of our bedrooms like on this side of the house where the other one is it's in our dining room and it kind of gets that end of the house so um, it smells up a good amount of space but it doesn't carry like from end to end so this one um, came with the plug and then you also get the scent with it and um, this one is in the bamboo scent and it smells really good again it's just like really light and fresh it's not like too flowery or um, I don't, it's, it's not strong at all. So I really like that scent. I have the Radiance Ultra. This is just the dishwasher packs. These are from Aldi. I'd heard that these were really good. And so I decided to give them a try. They're like two bucks or two fifty or something. So much more affordable than the name brand ones, um, Cascade or whatever. And, um, they seem to work okay. I've not had any issues with them at all. And you get 18 in this little pack. So these are the Up and Up Fresh Scent Small Trash Bags. These are for four gallon bags. Um, and I really like these. These are what I use in like all of our bathroom garbages. Um, just so you're not like throwing nasty garbage into the waste basket. You have a bag and it's just easier to deal with. Um, but these are really nice. They have like a really nice clean, fresh scent, um, and you just get them at Target. I have the Scotch-Brite Stay Clean Scrubbers. Um, these are what I use to clean our dishes. Um, they have one side that's like a soft, spongy, kind of spongy. It's almost like a washcloth material. And then the other side is kind of a, um, does it say what it is? I guess not. The other side is kind of like a scrubby side, but it's not like harsh or abrasive. Um, but it's supposed to uh, clean up eggs and cheese which is a really big deal when you use sponges <laughs> because those things stick to everything and it really does work if you use the scrubby side um, so I really like these and Chris has even commented other people have commented when they've come over and they've washed something like family um, and whatnot they'll say I really like these sponges so um, yeah I really like them they're kind of just my go-to for that I have another palm olive this has become a favorite for me. Um, this is the Method Squirt and Mop Wood Floor Cleaner. This stuff is so, so good and it smells amazing. It makes your house smell so delicious. It has a nice, like, yummy, sweet almond scent to it, which I really love. Um, but it also does a really good job. So I actually just use this with our Bona Floor Cleaner. I've stopped buying the Bona Cleaner and I just squirt this all over the floor and I just use the Bona and clean it and it works really well. It gives a nice like pretty shine to your floors and it just smells so good. Here is one of those sponges. So these are the sponges that I was talking about. Um, so you get like this washcloth material on this side and then this is the scrubby side. I think it got bleach on this or something but yeah. So I'm just throwing that away because you know you're not supposed to keep sponges for too long. Um, I have another method foaming hand soap. This is in the scent Frosted Fur. I wasn't sure if I was going to share this with you guys because it's a Christmassy holiday scent. But this smelled so good. I hope that they come back out with it this year for Christmas. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like a Christmas tree but kind of like a little bit of a freshness but a sweetness to it. It smells amazing. I mean, the packaging is so pretty. I love that green and gold. So I'm sharing this with you because you can keep it in mind. If you see it around the holiday season, definitely pick it up if you like that Christmas tree scent because it's a good one. So I have the Method All Purpose. So this is the French Lavender scent I mentioned earlier, um, but there was another scent that I like to use. This is what I use for the bedrooms and bathrooms. It has just a really, really nice like lavender smell to it. It's very calming, very relaxing. Um, so this is usually my go-to for those areas. And if I can't find this one, if they're like out or something, then I will go with the lime and sea salt. I have another Clorox toilet bowl cleaner. This one is just like the regular one. It's not the clinging one. But again, Clorox, Lysol, those are the only two that I will get. And then I also have another laundry detergent pack. Staying on the Gain train, I have the Gain um, dryer sheets. These just smell so good. I just love Gain. I really do. It just smells really good. It smells very clean and fresh and yeah, good stuff. Okay, getting to the end. I have another 
lime and sea salt spray. Um, I have a couple more of the Febreze Meadows and Rain. And then I also have one of these. I'm just going to leave these in here. Um, and it looks like this. So these are the Febreze Small Spaces. And I don't know if you can see it, but normally you would get one of these little contraptions and you just pop this in there and then it smells up the area. So these are for small spaces, hence why it's called small spaces. But this is in the scent gain gain scent I guess the original gain scent it smells really good this is what I use in our laundry room because our laundry room is a very small space um, it's kind of like a laundry slash mud room <laughs> it's not an ideal situation but um, it works and that is also where we keep the cat like litter box for kitty cat so I'm always like very conscious of it not smelling like a litter box when you walk in. I do like to use these and I feel like this does a really good job aside from just keeping the litter box clean at all times. Um, but this does re a really good job of just smelling up that small space. It's not something that you'd be able to use really anywhere else. Maybe if you have like a little bathroom or something. Um, but I, I really like these. Ugh. Something is all nasty in there. Okay, I have another of the Method Sweetwater Foaming Hand Cleanser, and then another Palm Olive. And then the last two products that I'm going to share with you guys um, are like home fragrance type things. So I have, um, some of you guys have commented on it before, but if you've seen any of my videos, like in the kitchen, I have that little like cupcake light thing that sits on my counter near the sink, and that is a scentsy, like, warmer it's like a wax you can use wax melts in it you can put like the scented oils in it um and I really like it I've had it for so long I think I bought it like a long time ago and one of my friends um her son was like selling them for a fundraiser maybe boy scouts or something I don't remember but I got it then and I really like it and I use it I've used it for years I've had it for so long um maybe like eight years or seven years. I've had it for a really long time. But you can just get the wax melts and pop them in there and use them. And this is one that I use like around the holidays and um, like in this winter. And it smelled really good. It's the Better Homes and Garden one. It's a holiday one. Yeah, it smells really good. It's, it's called Winter Morning Latte. So you can get these at Walmart. And um, I know it's a holiday scent, but you still might be able to get some of them or you can look for it later on this year around the holidays but I just really it has like a cinnamon smell like a spice to it but it also has like a sweetness as well and it just smells so so good so that's what that one looks like um, and you just pop those in your warmer and it just smells up your home and it, they, it just does a really good job and then this one I don't think they make these anymore but this is the Bath and Body Works home fragrance oil and this is in the scent sweet pea which is a really nice like pleasant sweet spring scent um, I've actually been using this recently and it's completely gone um, but this did a really really good job of just smelling up the entire home you walked in and it just felt like spring you know like it smelled like spring and it just smells so good so this is definitely a good scent this is kind of like one of those classic Bath and Body Works scents but I wish that they still made these oils because I would totally go and get some more um, so yeah, I think that is everything. So thank you guys so much for sitting here and listening to me ramble about all of the household <laughs> products that I've used up. Like I've said, honestly, I don't think there was something in here that I didn't care for, which is surprising. There's always something that I didn't care for. Um, so yeah, I guess that's a first for me, but Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do enjoy these types of videos, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button so I know and can keep them coming. Um, and uh, yeah, if you enjoy this sort of content or you like motherhood and lifestyle content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I do upload videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And if you're on Instagram, definitely give me a follow over there. I only upload three days a week here, so I'm definitely sharing more stuff with you over there uh, pretty much every day if not almost every day so anyways thank you guys so much for your time spider-man 
And um, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.